Welcome to TechV.com, your solution providers. This is Abhishek, and today we're gonna be creating lens flare in Photoshop. Now, one of the most important thing about lens flare is creating it uh, only gives us a lens flare on the background layer, and it is pretty difficult to edit the lens flare when it is on background layer. And that's why what we're gonna do today is create a lens flare on a new layer, and there is a pretty easy trick to get that. Now, as you can see in this image we know that the source of the light is from the background so the first step that we're going to do is create a normal lens flare for that we're going to go to filter render and choose lens flare and we're going to make sure that the lens flare is somewhere located at the top of the image in the corner where we can we know that the source of light exists and then maybe increase the brightness a little bit and press OK. Now, as you can see, this gives us a pretty good lens flare. But if we want to remove the lens flare to a new location, we know we can do that because this uh, background and the lens flare are locked here. And so, if we remove the image, the whole image now moves, and we cannot particularly select the normal lens flare. So, for that, what we can do is undo all this. We know we selected a lens flare uh, over here, so we know that our lens flare selection is saved right here. So what we're going to do is create a new layer and then fill it by pressing image, edit and fill and fill it with color of black color. Uh, we choose black to make sure that we can see our lens flare. And now we can apply our lens flare over this by clicking filter and clicking lens flare from here, not from render, but from the top of the screen here. And as you can see, this gives us a pretty good lens flare on our screen, but we want to blend it with the background layer. Uh, for that, we're going to change our blending mode from normal to screen. And now, as you can see, this gives us our lens flare right here. And you can decrease or increase its opacity as you want it. If you want to decrease it, you can do that too. But I like to keep it at 100. And furthermore, you can move your lens flare as you want it to. The first thing is you can press Ctrl T and press Shift to make sure the aspect ratio is maintained. And then expand the lens flare to make sure all the particular bubbles and creations that you wanted up uh, perfectly matched with the rest of your image and then click now one of the uh, most important thing to make sure over here is uh, to press control Q and now you can actually change the warmth and the color of your lens flare as you want it to be without impacting the background of the, your image this is one of the most important part because if the lens flare was not on the original layer, the background layer would also have been affected by changing the color of the lens. And we can increase the warmthness if we like, make it a little more warmer and press OK. Furthermore, the first thing we can do is make sure we can remove all these ambiguities in the lens flare that we have for that we can just choose our eraser tool from here and just paint over any lens flare that we want to remove from our image you can choose a finer brush to make sure the image is perfectly blended uh, one next thing that we want to do is make sure that we add a blur to our uh, lens flare in order to make sure that it is not the prominent part of the picture. We want to blur it out a little bit so it is not pretty harsh on the picture. You can choose any blur, radius blur of a normal quantity to make sure that it does not decrease the sharpness of our subject. And press OK. So that was uh, one of the best bonus points that we can use by creating lens flare 
on a new layer as you can see this is another layer and we have added a lens layer on it by which we can always increase or decrease any properties of it that we want and that was our lens player in photoshop thanks for watching please like and subscribe